Did you know that in the last year alone, astronomers have catalogued over 100 new interstellar objects passing through our solar system? Most are just icy rocks. But what if one of them wasn't? Right now, something's happening that even NASA refuses to explain. Data feeds have gone missing. Live signals cut midstream. And the one interstellar object that's been mesmerizing astronomers for months, 3i divided by Atlas, has suddenly gone dark. No glow, no trail, no signature. It's as if it's been erased from the sky. But what if this isn't a disappearance? What if it's a transformation? The story begins just days ago. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory was monitoring 3i divided by Atlas, the strange interstellar visitor that had baffled astronomers for months. It wasn't behaving like a comet or an asteroid or anything we've seen before. It pulsed faintly with light, green and gold, shifting like breath. And for weeks, it had been under constant observation. But then abruptly, every telescope from Chile to Hawaii reported the same thing. It was gone. Three I divided by Atlas had vanished. Now vanishing in space isn't easy. The vacuum doesn't just swallow light. Every object, even the darkest one, reflects something. Infrared radio, plasma signatures, yet the sensors went dead. NASA tried to recalibrate its instruments, but the signal loss wasn't technical, it was total. The object that once glowed brighter than a million candles against the void was now completely black. The strangest part, just before it went dark, telescopes recorded a faint pulse, a single flash, almost like a heartbeat, then silence. Astronomers are calling it the fade. A few inside NASA whisper. It's more like the shutdown. And the classified files now locked inside restricted digital vaults marked under Project Echo suggest that what went dark wasn't just a rock. It was something reacting. Let's rewind. When 3i divided by Atlas first entered our solar system, it moved erratically like it was navigating. Unlike Oumuamua, which passed us like a skipping stone, this object seemed to adjust course as if correcting for gravity wells. And then came the glow. Chemical emissions that didn't match ice, rock or gas. It behaved like it was powered by something internal. For months, NASA's spectral analysis couldn't match it to anything natural. Harvard's astrophysics team even speculated it could be artificial, a probe, maybe a remnant from another civilization. That was months ago. Now with the object gone dark, those same scientists have gone silent, their updates frozen, interviews canceled. Even Harvard's own page on 3i divided by Atlas was quietly archived overnight. It raises one question that chills everyone watching. What if it didn't vanish? What if it turned itself off? To understand why this idea terrifies scientists, we need to look at the data right before the blackout. The Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope both recorded subtle fluctuations in the light curve, not random, but rhythmic. The pattern mirrored a logarithmic sequence, something that repeats but evolves, like coded communication. Then hours later, the glow dimmed, fragmented, and collapsed into total darkness. It's as if the object completed a transmission, then went to sleep. NASA has dealt with anomalies before. When Voyager 1 left the heliosphere, it transmitted a mysterious hum, a plasma resonance from interstellar space. But this is different. This is deliberate. And for the first time in decades, agencies are withholding live data. When reporters pressed NASA's public affairs office, the reply was chillingly vague. The object known as 3i divided by Atlas is no longer observable. Data analysis is ongoing, that's all. But behind the scenes, people are talking. Insiders claim that classified divisions within NASA and the Department of Defense are reviewing transmissions linked to the event. One astrophysicist from the European Space Agency speaking anonymously said the final signal wasn't noise at all. It carried modulation, meaning structure, as if data was being encoded. And what's more, it wasn't directed toward Earth. It was aimed outward toward deep interstellar space. Think about that for a second. 
An object from another star system enters ours, behaves unlike anything we've seen, sends a structured signal, and then powers down while transmitting away from us. It's not random, it's purposeful. And that's why the 3i divided by Atlas files were classified. Because if this thing isn't just a rock, if it's an ancient probe or beacon, then whatever it's signaling to might still be out there. Now, before we leap to conclusions, let's ground ourselves in what we do know. Space is unpredictable. Cosmic bodies sometimes fragment or evaporate when they encounter solar radiation or gravitational stress, but no known natural process erases all detectable energy at once. That's what makes this so unsettling. Even when comets die, they leave debris. Even when stars collapse, they echo. Three I divided by Atlas left nothing. And so scientists are asking a question they rarely say aloud. Did it shut down or did someone shut it off? Harvard's Dr. Emily Jiang, who's been tracking interstellar objects since Oumuamua, said something profound in an interview before her project was abruptly paused. She said, if three I divided by Atlas is a messenger, then it might not want to be found. That line echoes across observatories tonight because maybe, just maybe, this thing wasn't here by accident. Consider this. In astrophysics, there's a hypothesis known as interstellar seeding. The idea that advanced civilizations might scatter self-replicating probes, machines that drift through space for millennia, gathering data, observing young civilizations like ours. These probes would remain dormant until they encounter a signal, a threshold moment, or something worth awakening for. So what if 3i divided by Atlas was one of them? A silent observer that detected our radar, our radio signals, our telescopes, and finally decided to respond. It glowed, it signaled, and now it sleeps again. This isn't just science fiction. It's a genuine theoretical framework called the Bracewell Probe concept. The educational value here is immense. It forces us to confront the Fermi paradox, the question of where is everybody? Maybe they are here, but they're quiet. The true mystery isn't just the object, but the timing. Why now? What threshold did humanity just cross that made this probe, or whatever it is, wake up? Was it the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope giving us an unprecedented view of the cosmos? Was it our advancements in artificial intelligence, a signal that we're approaching a new kind of consciousness? The value of this event isn't just about finding aliens. It's a mirror. It forces us to evaluate our own technological footprint. If 3i divided by Atlas was listening, it heard everything, our wars, our broadcasts, our first fumbling steps into space. Its silence now is profoundly educational. It might be the universe's way of telling us to listen rather than just shout. NASA won't confirm it, but the timing is strange. Since the blackout, multiple satellites have reported microbursts of radio interference across the X-band frequencies used for deep space communication. They're brief, almost imperceptible, but synchronized globally. Some analysts believe they're echoes, like the aftershocks of something ancient moving through the network. Others fear it's 3i, divided by Atlas still whispering in wavelengths we haven't yet learned to interpret. Let's not forget this isn't the first time something like this has happened. In 1973, the Pioneer spacecraft experienced a telemetry anomaly just beyond Jupiter. Signals fluctuated as though something was reflecting them back. In 2004, NASA's Genesis probe re-entered Earth with materials showing exposure to unknown ionization. Space has always kept its secrets close. But this, this feels different. This feels personal because 3i divided by Atlas came from outside the solar system. It wasn't born here, it's a visitor. And if that visitor just shut itself down, it might mean it finished what it came to do. Some theorists speculate it could have been a scout. Others say it's a recorder, a vessel carrying the history of something long gone. But what's most haunting is the idea that its darkening wasn't an end. It was a signal 
Imagine an ancient civilization that mastered light and silence as tools of communication. For them, going dark might not mean death. It might mean completion, mission accomplished, message sent. When I think about that, I remember humanity's own first steps into the stars. The Apollo missions, voyages, golden records, our radio messages sent toward the unknown. We've always been the ones calling out, hoping someone answers. But what if this time someone did and we didn't like what came next? Or perhaps the universe is reminding us of something simpler, that not all signals are meant to be decoded. Some are meant to be felt, to humble us, to remind us of how small we truly are. Because the truth is, silence is not absence. In the language of the cosmos, silence is information. When the stars go quiet, something is about to change. And that's what terrifies scientists tonight. They're not afraid of what 3 I divided by Atlas was. They're afraid of what it might have triggered. What if that last pulse wasn't a goodbye, but a wake-up call? What if somewhere light years away, something ancient just received it? NASA's silence now feels less like secrecy and more like precaution. The public may not be ready. The data might still be inconclusive. But behind closed doors, they're watching. They're waiting. And so are we. So the next time you look at the night sky, remember this. Somewhere beyond our reach, a messenger from another world drifted into our solar system, blinked once and disappeared. But maybe it's still out there, watching, listening, waiting for the right moment to return. The lesson here is profound. We spend so much time looking for signals, for noise, for proof of life that we've forgotten to interpret the silence. This event, whether it's a natural phenomenon we don't understand or something else, teaches us humility. It reminds us that the universe is not obligated to make sense to us. It is vast, ancient, and endlessly mysterious. So, what do you think? Was 3 I divided by Atlas a dead rock, or was it a messenger? Let me know your most fascinating theory in the comments below. And if you value these dives into the unknown, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We have so much more to explore together.